Hi there. Um, right, what we're going to be doing next lesson is um, some tonal ladders, um, which we're going to do in our sketchbooks. You'll see that I've already started one here. I'm going to actually start this again on this page because I want to show you from scratch. Um, but what I do want to point out to you is that when you are working in your books, try not to skip pages. Unless there's a, there's a definite reason why you need to, for example, if a drawing from this page has come through onto this page, always work on the next blank page, um, unless I say otherwise. So that's what we're going to be doing today, and I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay, so first off, you all will have done a starter task um, where you were asked to organise some squares from light to dark. Um, if you have done that, those squares should now be available to you and you should have those on your desk. Okay, if you line them up next to um, the page where you're doing this task, they're going to help you um, to get the gradient from light to dark accurate. You will all also have one of these. Now this is just a grid um, that's got the strips already marked out for you. This just makes it a little bit easier, saves a little bit of time at the start of the lesson. So pop that grid underneath your page, angle it so that these lines are nice and straight, and you should easily be able to see through. And then what you need to do is just take your ruler and rule over the top of those lines that you can see through your piece of paper, like so. And this is going to give you the grid to work from. Now, we're going to be using four different media or materials. That is going to be a pencil. Now, with your pencil, you want a soft-ish pencil. Don't, not too soft. If you have it too soft, um, you're going to struggle to get your lighter squares and you don't want it too hard because if you have it too hard you're going to struggle to get your darker squares. An HB pencil will be fine. Um, a 2B or a 3B would be better. It's just going to give you a little bit more softness in the lead when you come to do the darker areas. So this is quite a hard pencil. I've used that to map out my grid. I'm going to put that to one side now and I'm going to switch over to a... Um, softer pencil. Right, now, looking at my first square and my first box, I'm very lightly and very carefully going to mark in some shading. And I am barely touching the surface of the piece of paper. I'm keeping it really, really light. And that's important like so, all the way across, as light as I can possibly make it. And I'm using my square here to kind of help me get that tone. It's not gonna be exactly the same, but it's just nice to have a little bit of a visual reference. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump straight to my bottom box. The reason for this is that you produce your lightest and you produce your darkest and it kind of helps you to understand the sort of pressure that's required. So absolutely no pressure whatsoever here, just really lightly brushing it across the page. But when you come down here, you're going to be pressing much harder. So using that pencil to try and get myself the darkest possible tone. Now as I've mentioned before in these tutorials, you want to try and stay within the edges of your box. The presentation of your book is extremely important. You know, well presented books demonstrate a desire for smart, nice looking work and a respect for the work that you're doing. So we do want to try and keep these really nice and neat. Okay, so I've drawn this out, I've gone around my edges, I've got it quite tidy. What I'm going to do now is just press a little bit harder, try and get these, this tone really dark. 
This is my darkest, darkest box. And this is really what I'm aiming for. Almost black. So I'm just gonna go over that and go over it again. Really trying to get that nice and dark. And once I've done that, I think I'm happy with that. I'm gonna go back up to the top of my page. And then what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna do exactly what I did in this box. I'm not gonna press any harder. I'm gonna go lightly across the surface. And the reason why I'm not gonna press any harder is because it's much easier to go dark, but it's a lot harder to go light. If you wanna go light, you've gotta rub the whole box out and start again. So using the same pressure that I used in the first one, I'm gonna just sketch that box in. Now, already I'm looking at this thinking, you know what, this is actually darker. And it's probably because I've gone from using a lot of pressure up here, my hand is probably being ever so slightly heavier than it was when I did this one. And also, the tip of my pencil has become flattened. I don't know if you can see that. Um, so I'm no longer working with a very small point on the end of my brush. Uh, my end of my pencil, sorry. I'm working with quite a flat area. So I've already gone darker just here, okay? So I'm gonna try it so, and it's just as well I did. I had it in my head, don't press too hard. I didn't press too hard, but I've managed to go darker anyway. If I had been trying to make a darker tone, I would have gone too dark. So I'm gonna repeat that, and I'm gonna say to myself, right, don't press hard. Keep it the same pressure as the last box that you did. And then as that box is filling in, you should be able to see there that it's coming out almost identical to the box above. Okay, now that's a good place to be. Now from here, I can look at that and I can think, well, that's definitely, um, that's definitely not a step down tonally. And I can also see that from this box here. So I'm gonna go over that again with the same pressure but because I'm going over it again, it's just adding another layer of lead onto the surface of the piece of paper, which is going to make it look a fraction darker. Now I'm gonna repeat this all the way down the bottom, and then we'll see what it looks like.
Okay, so when I've finished it, that's then my opportunity to sit back, to have a look at what I've done and to think, right, am I getting that step right? Is there is that a right step from here to here to here to here? Or are there any ones that are looking like maybe they're a little bit too similar? So as I'm sitting here looking at it, I'm thinking that these two are actually quite similar. So I'm going to take this one down just a fraction more with my pencil. And then I'm going to have another look and see how that is. And I think that that's, that's not bad. I think that's, that's a slightly better step. Okay, so I'm relatively happy with that. So that's how we do our pencil tonal strip.